Hey guys, this is AJ with Indiana Prototyping. This is my first video in a series of videos that's going to teach you guys how to use Fusion 360 to make things. Uh, we're gonna focus on the fundamentals. There'll be nothing fancy in the series, uh, but it'll get you started. Today, we are gonna make a knob uh, that will fit on this quarter 20 hex nut. Uh, at the end of the video, we'll 3D print it so you can see what it looks like when it's all done and like in reality. To get started, we need a cylinder. Uh, to make a cylinder, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make a sketch. So click on the sketch tool, and then it shows three different orientations that you can make the sketch at. Um, think of a sketch as a piece of paper. We're gonna draw on a piece of paper that we'll use later to make a 3D shape. And right now we're trying to figure out where to put the, um, put the paper. We can either put it on the floor or on you know, two of the walls. So let's put it on the bottom, which is the floor. So we're looking straight down at it right now. Um, and then we need a circle. A, so I'll go over here. Um, you're gonna click the drop down menu that says sketch. We're gonna find the circle tool and we're gonna do the circle by the center. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna go to the center of my workspace here and draw a circle. Uh, so I decided that I wanted this to be about an inch, which is about 25 millimeters. So type in 25 and hit enter. Um, and so that's our circle. You can see it automatically puts in the dimension line there. So we're done with that. So we're going to hit stop sketch. And now we're back in three dimensional space. So there's our piece of paper with a circle drawn on it. Uh, but now we want to make that circle three dimensional. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna hit the Create menu, and then the Extrude button. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on our circle, and this is gonna let us make the circle into a cylinder. So we're going to uh, do it by distance, and we want a distance of 10 millimeters. So you see there, that turns our circle into a cylinder. Now we have a three-dimensional shape. Um, so we have the, the knob, that's the outside of the knob. Now we need a hole for the hex nut. So we're gonna do that by making another sketch. Just remember, a sketch is like having a sheet of paper. We're gonna put that on top of our cylinder. Once we have that, we need a hexagon. So go back up to sketch. Um, find the polygon menu there, and we're gonna do an inscribed polygon. And we need to pick a center point and click one more time to give us a hexagon. You may notice that we don't know how big that hexagon is. It may fit or not, it may not fit or not. Uh, so let's constrain that to a size. So we're gonna go to sketch. We're going to click on dimension. So the dimension is you just telling uh, Fusion 360 how big you want the thing to be. So we're gonna click on one side of the hexagon and then the other side of the hexagon, drag this out to the side and click. So right now it says it is 13.856 millimeters. Um, which doesn't really mean anything to me. I probably should have moved this into inches, but um, I started in millimeters, or the standard is to do it in millimeters. The default is millimeters, so let's leave it. Uh, I'm going to take my hex nut and a pair of calipers and measure it, and I read uh, 4.3 inches. So I'm just going to use my Cortana down here and say 0.43 inches to millimeters, and I get 10.92. Uh, we'll call it 11. So I'm going to double click on that dimension and make it 11 millimeters. Type 11, hit enter. All right, so now we have a hexagon in the center of our cylinder there. We're, this is everything we knew here, so we're going to hit stop sketch and look at it three-dimensionally again. And then we're going to do another extrusion. So we're going to hit the extrude button. And then we're going to click on our hexagon in the center there except this time we want it to be a hole. We don't want to make something three-dimensional, we want to do 
anti three dimensional. We want it. We want a hole. We don't want it to extrude out. So I'm going to hit operation cut, uh, and then we're going to do this by distance again. And let's go five millimeters. Um, now you may notice that arrow is going up. That is not the direction we want to go. We want to go down into the shape. So I'm just going to click on. I'm going to drag that arrow down. It's at five millimeters. Um, and you can see that now we have a hexagon in our cylinder. Um, so we are closer. Now, if you wanted to tighten this down all the way over a bolt, you would need a hole in the center there for the bolt to go through. So we're going to do the exact same thing again. Sketch. We're going to click on the inside of that hexagon. We're going to go sketch, circle, uh, circle by center point. We're going to click on the center point again. And we want a quarter inch. So let's come back down here to Cortana. 0.25 inches to millimeters. So 6.35. We want it to have some wiggle room, so we'll just go ahead and call it seven. So I'm gonna go back up here, sketch, sketch dimension, click on the circle, and seven, and then enter. Um, so same thing as the last time, back up to the extrude tool. We're gonna click on our circle. We are going to make it a cut. And then this time we are going to make it, instead of a distance cut, we just want it to go through everything. So we're going to hit all. Uh, and then we need to turn around this again. So we'll just drag it down. And now we have a hole through the bottom. Or we will once we hit, hit OK. All right, so there is our little knob for a quarter 20 nut. Um, let's go ahead and 3D print this. So the print just finished, and here's our part. You can see it basically looks just like the CAD model. Uh, there, there is one exception. If you look closely, you may notice that it's not quite round on the top there. That is because I tried to pick it up while it was still a little bit melty on the printer. Overall, it only took seven minutes to print, and we went from CAD model to functional part in probably about under 20 minutes total. It fits on a threaded ro rod, and we have a thing now. Uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate you spending your time, especially on my very first video. I plan on putting out many more in the future uh, from the basics of CAD, like this model, or like this uh, video, to some more advanced stuff. Um, thank you for watching. Hit like if this was helpful. Leave a comment, and please subscribe. Thank you.